Okay, so I'm an event host and I'm convinced that professional events require professional hosts to make sure that the events look, well, you know, smooth and professional. However, if you just can't afford one and you're determined to DIY it, then because I'm a good human being and I want to help all audiences, I'm going to give you some tips to make sure you take the best care of your people and give them the best time. So my first tip is always going to be write a script, even down to the thank you, so that you are never stuck for words. Of course, don't read from this, you you know, refer to this script. Will I get home in time for school? Do I need to pee now or will there be a break? How do I get my car parking paid for? These are the things that your attendees will be distracted by, so you need to give them the key event information as early as possible in the day. Next tip, research the speakers really well so that you kind of have a pretty good idea of what they're going to say. Don't just read out their bio as well when you introduce them. Try and find something more interesting to say about them, something that the audience can't just read about in the programme. Make sure that the speakers have all the things they might need. That's like water, um, an adapter for their laptop, that kind of thing. You know, it is your job to look after them, not just introduce them. <clears throat> My next tip would be have, um, yeah, always have questions ready for the speakers just in case one of them says to the audience, does anyone have any questions and no one in the audience does and then they look like a bit of a plank. So to avoid that, you should have some questions so that you can just swoop in with a great question and, and get the Q&A session going and, and the speaker will love you for that. You also need to have some things up your sleeve that you could talk about, that you could use to fill in if there are delays or glitches. You know, sometimes someone could say, the next speaker's not coming, or they're going to be 15 minutes late. You need to fill. So, you know, you'll have needed to call on your research for the event, which is hopefully on a subject you know about, so that, that, that you've got something you can say if that absolutely has to happen. You know, a, a really good event host should be able to sort of chuck a workshop in there or do something. But if you don't have that skill, make sure you've got a speech that you could use. I would also say socialise with the attendees in the breaks. Even if you're a bit stressed and you think I've got to get up there, keep an eye on time, just try and have a chat with a few people because you can find out what they're enjoying about the conference, what they're not, if there's anything going on that actually you didn't know about that you could get someone to sort out. And, you know, little tidbits of their conversation can be something that you use in your pattern and um, when you're you know, talking later at the event. And also it makes people feel listened to, which is really nice if they get quoted on stage. So obviously there's loads more tips I could give you, but you know, you'd hardly expect me to share all my hard earned skills here. If you have got an event coming up um, and you don't want to DIY it, give me a call and I'll show you how to take it to the next level.